And that is why you know what it's time for. It is time for another Hunger Games. This time it's Battle Cats themed right here. And I called it Catastrophe because I didn't honestly know what to call it. And it was a good cat pun, so I mean, it was right there in plain sight. How can you blame me? Anyways, as I literally just said, this Hunger Games is based off of Battle Cats. I got, we got some cats here, we got some enemies, we got those two guys. We'll, we'll get into it. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's hopefully gonna be epic. I don't know, I haven't done it yet, but I hope it's gonna be epic. Anyways, how about we get into the districts now, because I don't really have anything else to say. In District 1, we have Cat and Gross Cat. In District 2, we have Mr. and Bahamut Cat. District 3, we have Walter White Cat and Maiden Cat. In District 4, we have Stone Cat and Deliquent Cat. District 5, we have Suntan Cat and Christ Fish Cat. In District 6, we have Mighty Bomber and Castle of the Scourge. I had to move Castle because she's my favorite Uber in the entire game. I just had to. Oh, and uh, only a few of these guys here were actually specifically chosen. He was specifically chosen. She was... Uh, those two were... He was, and I think a few others also, oh yeah, those two down there were also specifically chosen. The rest are all random. They were just randomly chosen, so, yeah, that's why we got a lot of weird cats. That wouldn't make much sense to me here, but it was all randomly chosen, or at least most of it was. Anyways, now we're done with the cats. We'll move on to the enemies now. In District 7, we have Doge, and I'm going to, I'm going to butcher this name. Kesahorian Ar Arhirujo. That is not how you spell it, but you know what? I I thought I was going to butcher that name, and I did badly. Badly. District 8, we have Pigeon de Sable and Black Cyclone. Again, probably butchered that name, too. In District 9, we have Cyberface and Divine Cyclone. In District 10, we have Mr. Celeboodle and Coffin Zoge. In District 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 11, Akudgori and Evil Emperor Cat. In the District 12, kind of the random section, we got Gamatoto and Cat Cannon. So anyways, there was all the districts, and um, I don't really have much else to say, so... Uh, Let's proceed. As the tributes stand on the podiums, the horn sounds. Evil Emperor Cat runs away from the cornucopia. Akugori runs away from the cornucopia. I'm going to call him Kasahorian. Kasahorian. I think that's how you spell it. I, again, I'm, I'm going to butch... If I say that second half, I'm going to butcher the name worse than I'm already probably butching it anyway. So Kasahorian it is. Pigeon de Sable. There's a knife in Divine Cyclone's non-existent chest because he's literally just a floating eyeball. Okay, well, Divine Cyclone's the first to go. Walter White Cat runs away from the Cornucopia. Gamatoto runs away from the Cornucopia. Doge runs away from the Cornucopia. Black Cyclone runs away from the Cornucopia. The Sunshine Cat runs away from the Cornucopia. Cast of the Scourge runs away from the Cornucopia. That's good. Cat Candy gathers as much food as it can. Preferably, maybe cat food. I don't know. What, what, would, what would the cat can eat? Crazy the Fish Cat grabs a shovel. Cyberface runs away from the Cornucopia. Mr. Celboodle runs away from the Cornucopia. Delinquent Cat runs away from the Cornucopia. Mr. and Mighty Bomber fight for a bag. Mighty Bomber give up and retreat. Frankly, I mean, Mighty Bomber versus Mr. I feel like I feel like Mr. would be the one to give up there. Because, I mean, you got this entire team of cats falling on whatever the stink of that is versus... Well, Mr. does have some machine guns, so... You know, maybe that makes sense why they ran. Gross Cat runs away from the Cornucopia. Coffin Zoge runs away from the Cornucopia. Stone Cat, Cat, Maiden Cat, and Bahamut Cats share everything they gathered before running. Day 1. Pigeon de Sable, Delinquent Cat, and Bahamut Cats successfully ambush and kill Crazyfish Cat, Castly, because... Because, of course, in Akugori. What? Why, man? Uh, anyways, Black Cyclone thinks about home. Stone Cat goes hunting. Suntan Cat diverts Kasahorian. Kasahorian's attention runs away. I'm not saying that final half. I'm not saying the second half. I know saying the entire name is correct, but I'm going to butcher it more than I'm already butchering it to begin with, so whatever. Doge over here is Cat and Welterweight Cat talking in the distance. Makes sense. They are cats. They're probably trying to do a, um, a, uh, crap. What's the word? Alliance. Right, I forgot the word. Maiden Cat, Gamatoto, Cat Cannon, Evil Emperor Cat, and Mr. Salvo hunt for the tributes. Uh, Mighty Bumper scare Mr. Off. No, actually, pretty, it's, it goes in the opposite way than the, that it did during the, um, Look, you, you, we all saw what happened. Is I'm just saying, it's funny. Cyberface tries to spearfish with a trident. Gross Cat travels to higher ground, and Coffin Zoge goes hunting. Four Kenneth shots can bury the distance. Divine Cyclone, Crazed Fish, Crazed Fish Cat, Castly, and Akugori. Night one. Mighty Bomber and Mister talk about the tribute still alive. Again, they are combining Mighty, Bom Mighty Bomber and Mister in constant. I guess, I guess Mister Mighty Bomber had some time to talk it out. And now they're. You know, they're chilling, they're friends now, I don't know. Mr. Celeboodle and Black Cyclone huddle for warmth. Evil Emperor Cat climbs a tree to rest. Is he still on this giant throne? Stone Cat convinces Doge not to, to not kill him, only to kill him instead. Oh, all right, well, Doge is dead, but if we're, if we're talking about the game, if we, if, we, if we were thinking about how this would work if this was in the game, Stone Cat would actually also die when killing Doge, so... Unrealistic. Coffin Zoge thinks about home. Walter White Cat receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Gross Cat goes to sleep, as you do. Maiden Cat, Gamatoto, and Suntan Cat discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Cat, Cyberface, and Bahamut Cat cheerfully sing songs together. 
right then. Cassahorian questions his sanity. I'm not saying the whole name. Pigeon de Sable receives five calf from seeds from an unknown sponsor. He can combine that into a calf fruit. Maybe that'll be good for him. I don't know. Can enemies eat calf fruit? Maybe only cats eat calf fruit. I don't know. Cat Cannon is awoken by nightmares, and Licking Cat sees a fire but stays hidden. I mean, it is called cat fruit, so maybe, so probably only cats can eat it. Anyways, day two. Cat hunts for the tributes. Welterweight Cat overhears Gross Cat and Made a Cat talking in the distance. Gamma Toto finds some cat fruit seeds. Again, maybe if it's five, then he's able to combine them. Mr. and Coffin's Oge work together for the day. All right then. Mighty Bumber divert Cassahorian. Cosahorian's attention and runs away. Sun Tank Cat runs away from Deliquent Cat. Black Black Cyclone stalks Pigeon de Sable. Mr. Salboodle tries to spearfish with a trident. Cat Cannon, Evil Emperor Cat, and Stone Cat hunt for the tributes. Cyberface picks flowers. I'm sorry, uh, how does he pick flowers? Does he just grab them with his teeth? I, I, Bahamut, Bahamut Cat travels to higher ground. And that's it. One cannon shot can bring the distance, and that is Doge. Night 2. Evil Emperor Cat, Mr. Salboodle, Cosahorian. Okay, I'll say the phone name. Kasahorian Arhiujo. Again, it, it does. I guarantee you I'm butchering that name. And Walter Ray Cat tells you the ghost stories to lighten the mood. Delinquent Cat tends to his wounds. Gamatoto loses sight of where he is. Suntan Cat and Mr. hold hands. Cat Cannon, Cat and Pigeon disoblique into a fight. Cat Cannon truffle kills them both. All right, then the Cat Cannon has fought back against the cat and also killed Pigeon disoblique. But it's the Cat Cannon shoots against the enemies, anyways. But kill the cat. All right, then. Bahama Cat convinces Mada Cat to slug with him. That's. I'm not going to comment on that. Stunt Cat shoots an arrow that Black Cyclone, but misses! It kills Gross Cat instead! Oof! Oof! Accidental! Accidental did not mean to hit one of one of the cats. He was aiming for the Black Cyclone, but missed. Cyberface tries to sing himself to sleep. Coffin's O's receives five cat fruit from five cat fruit seeds from an unknown sponsor. Is able to, maybe she'll be able to, I don't know, make um some um some 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 cat fruit for that. I don't know. Mighty Bumper receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor as well. A day three. Evil Emperor Cat receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Gamatoto explores the arena. Mr. Cellboodle collects fruit from a tree. Not cat fruit, just normal fruit. Stone Cat, Mr. Kasahirian Arhiujo. I that is that's even worse. That's even whatever. And Cat Cannon raids Suntan Cat's camp while he is hunting. Black Cyclone pours the Cyberface's drink, but mistakes it for his own and dies. Black Cyclone is dead. Bottom text. I thought Cyberface was actually gonna die for a second, but no, no, the tricks. Mighty Bumber search for a fire, search for firewood. Coffin's Oge scares Walter White Cat off. Maiden Cat thinks about home. Delicum Cat receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Again, he's got that giant robot behind him. I don't know why. Just you know. I don't really know why you need weapons. You got that thing with you all the time. Bahama Cat receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Four cannon shots can bear the distance. Cat, Pigeon de Sable, Gross Cat, and Black Cyclone. All right, here's everyone's status. District 1 is completely dead. District 2, both are alive. Bahamut's got three kills, not bad. District 3, both are alive, both with no kills. District 4, both are alive. Stone Cat with two kills, and Leaking Cat with three kills. District 5, Sun Tank Cat is alive with no kills. Crazy Fish Cat is dead. District 6, Mighty Bumper is alive with no kills. And Castly. Actually, it's dead. I was she win this. District 7, Doge is dead. Kasahorian are... I put the name of Google Translate trying to listen what the what the voice even is, and um, I still messed up, so I, I still cannot perfectly repeat it, so I'm just going to say it the best I can. Kasahorian Arhiujo, not right at all, um, is alive, no kills. District 8, both are dead. Uh, Pigeon, Pigeon de Sable did have four kills, though, not bad. District 9, Cyberface is alive, no kills. Divine Cyclone is dead. District 10, both are alive, both with no kills. District 11, Ekugori is dead. Ifan Park Cat is alive with no kills. And District 12, both are alive, and Cat Cannon has two kills, while well, Gamatoto has none. Literally everyone, I, I mean, the only person I was really rooting for was Castly, I mean, so, pfft, I mean, whatever. I, I guess I'll root for that man down there, even though, not, even though I can't pronounce his name. And Stone Cat, because Stone Cat's pretty epic, too, let's be real. I don't actually have Stone Cat again, so I don't know if he is epic, but I assume he is, because he looks cool. The Lincoln Cat defeats Coffin's Oge, and if I spares her life. Walter Ray Cat sets up, sets up camp for the night. Bahama Cat tends to miss... Oh, fence. He doesn't tend to them. No, he fends Mr. Mighty Cat and Mr. Salbuto away from his fire. Gasahorian Arhujo and Stone Cat tell stories about themselves to each other. Oh, look, the two the two that, I was, that I'm now rooting for are, like, you know, possibly an alliance. I, I'm hoping. Please tell me that, they, that one doesn't kill the other, because that... It would sting a lot. Cat Cannon tries to sing itself to sleep. Suntan Cat tries to treat his infection. Evil Emperor Cat stays awake all night. Cyberface attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. And Gamatoto kills Mighty Bumper with a sickle. That dude, that, that, that little dude right there just killed that giant thing right there. I mean, maybe he killed all the cats and then the entire thing just fell apart because, you know, cats, you have, you have no cats to run it, then the entire thing doesn't work. So, I don't know. Maybe it was easy to kill him, but the odds seem stacked against him. A day four. Bahama Cat finds some cat fruit seeds. Mr. Salboodle chases Gamatoto. Coffin's Oge sprains her ankle while running away from Kasahurian Arhiujo. Mm. 
Cat Cannon chases Welterweight Cat. Sun Tan Cat goes hunting. Evil Emperor Cat pr practices his archery. Delinquent Cat, Stone Cat, Cyber Face, and Maiden Cat raid Mister's camp while he is hunting. Dear goodness. One can of shot, give her the distance, and that is Mighty Bumber. Night 4, Welterweight Cat and Gamatoto talk about the tribute still alive. Maiden Cat loses sight of where she is. Bahama Cat questions his sanity. Stone Cat, Sun Tan Cat, Delinquent Cat, and Evil Emperor Cat sleep in shifts. Coffin Zone fi receives five cat fruit seeds from an unknown sponsor. Didn't she receive some already? Did she? I, I I don't remember if she received some already, but if she did. She's got. She can now make two cat fruits, whole cat fruits. I don't know why she hasn't yet, but um, again, they're cat fruits. Cats can probably only eat them. It has a name. They're cat fruit, not enemy fruits, or dog or dog fruits. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Think, think. Use that brain of yours. Katsuhurian, are you ho? Still doesn't feel right. Cat Cannon and Mr. Cellboodle cheerfully sing songs together. Cyberface climbs a tree to rest. I'm not sure how he can climb it all. And Mr. falls into a frozen lake and drowns. All right, well, Mr.'s dead, everybody. A day five. Cat Cannon questions its sanity as you do. Bahama Cat is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Walter Cat and Maida Cat work together for the day. Stone Cat attacked by Coffin Soge, but, Zo but Stone Cat dodges Coffin Soge's attack. All right, nice going, Stone Cat. Dodging, dodging her attack like that. Dodging her attack, I respect that. That's why that, because... Again, if he if he gets hit at all, he dies. That doesn't explain how he killed Doge earlier and didn't die, but we're going to pretend... That's not a question how that happened. Um, Gamatoto attacks Evil Emperor Cat, but he manages to escape. Delinquent Cat says he gets pulled off, killing Mr. Stellaboodle and the dude who, in Kasuhurian Arhuho. Okay, well, at least I don't have to repeat his name anymore, but... You know, he's dead now, so that stinks. And Cyberface and Suntank Cat work together for the day. An arena event has begun. Carnivore Squirrel start attacking the tributes. Uh, maybe some Sir Rail, some Squire... I'm upset with myself. I could have renamed Carnivore Squirrels to Sir Rails and Squire Rails. Crap, man. Miss, missed, missed opportunity. Maiden Cat uses the Sir Rails to her advantage, shoving Cyberface into them. All right, uh, Cyberface is dead. Welterweight survives. Bahama Cat tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. They, they, Bahama Cat is, you know, his his range of attack is, you know, it's it's um it's too slow, and the the, the Sir Rails and Squire Rails, you know, it's kind of just, just you know just mess them up. It's saddening, honestly. It is Sir Rail and Squire Rail, right? That is what it is, right? I'm not crazy. You know, I'm just gonna assume that I'm correct. Suntank Cat survives. Coffin Zoge survives. Cat Cannon survives. Delinquent Cat survives. Delinquent Delinquent Cat <laughs> survives. Ugh. The squirrels separate and kill Gamatota and Stone Cat. All right, looks like Stone Cat's uh, mysterious ability to not die when hitting anything has failed here, as this as this as the squirrels have killed him. And Evil Emperor Cat tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. Oof, huge yikes on that one. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Mister, Mister Celaboodle, Casahorian, Aryuho, Cyberface, Bahamut Cat, Gamatoto, Stone Cat, and Evil Emperor Cat. Alright, let's take a look back at the status, shall we? Both of District 2 is dead. Bahamut Cat does have three kills, but, you know, he's dead, so whatever. Maiden, now, Maiden Cat now has one kill. Uh, District 4, Delinquent Cat now has five kills. Holy crap, that is a lot. And Stone Cat is dead. I think District 6 is the exact same, if I'm correct. I think Grace the Fish Cat is already dead. Or maybe he's dead now. I honestly don't remember. Six, Mighty Bumper is dead. Yikes. Seven, both are dead. Yikes. Eight. I think it was already like that before. I honestly can't remember. If it wasn't like that before, well, they're both dead now. So, big sad. Uh, number nine, Cyberface is dead now. Bottom text. Uh, number ten, Coffin Zoge is alive. Miss Shelbudle is now dead. Eleven, both are dead. And twelve, Gamatot is dead. He had one kill, but it doesn't matter because he's dead now. Cat Cannon is alive with two kills. Again, everyone I was rooting for is now dead. I guess I'll root for Coffin Zoge. Delicant Cat, I guess. A night five. Please focus for me. Maiden Cat is awoken by nightmares. Walter Cat and Delicant Cat talk about the tribute still alive. Cat Cannon quietly hums. Suntank Cat and Coffin Zoge run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Respectable. The feast! Bum bum bum! The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Cat Cannon dies from an infection. Big sad on that one. Delinquent Cat doesn't decides not to go to the feast. I mean, that's a smart idea. You know, you don't want to die now. Welterweight Cat decides not to go to the feast either. Coffin Zoge bashes Suntan's cat's head in with a mace. And Maiden Cat bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Oof, huge ice. At least you didn't win, though, because I'm, I'm not a fan of Maiden Cat. So, I'm kind of glad you didn't win. Day six. Coffin Zoge injures herself. Nice going. Welterweight Cat discovers a cave, and, delin and Delinquent Cat is pricked by thorns while picking berries. He's looking for some cat food seeds. Three cannon shots can be heard the distance. Cat Cannon, Suntan Cat, and Maiden Cat. Night six. Delinquent Cat and Coffin Zoge tell stories about themselves to each other, and Welterweight Cat is awoken by nightmares. Day seven. We've done one full in-game week of this. Coffin Zoge thinks about home. Welterweight Cat makes a slingshot, 
and Delinquent Cat try tries to sleep through the entire day. You know what I hear? I hear nothing, because no cannon shots can be heard in the distance, because no one died. Night seven. Coffin Joe screams for help, as you do. The Liquid Cat finds five calf root seeds that combine the seeds to make one whole calf root. Finally, someone did it. I was wondering when they were going to. And once my cat cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Yikes on that one, big yikes. Well, it's down to these two. It's time to see who will win. All right, here we go. You know what that means? When the thing starts to shake and it's all down here, it starts to shake, that means we're nearing the end. I wonder who's gonna be, I don't know. <gasps> the Liquid Cat kills Coffin Zoge while she is resting, which means our winner is, well, first of all, we gotta get through this. Yeah, two are dead. Who the snake cares? The Lincoln Cat is the winner from District 4. I kind of expected him to win. And here we are to our placements right here. We got the Lincoln Cat, who is the winner with six kills. All right, not bad. Coffin Zoge in second place with one kill. What's my cat? A pass fist in third place with no kills. Maiden Cat, fourth place with one kill. Sunday Cat, another pass fist in fifth place with no kills. And Cat Cannon is sixth place with two kills. Why, Castle? Why did you have to get 22nd? I was hoping at least my top six. I mean, not a win, but at least my top six. Anyways, you can look at all this stuff right here, the summary, if you decide to skip through the entire video. I don't know. And here are the placements right here, even though we literally just looked at them. Here are the district placements right here, and here are the kills. We got Delinquent Cat with six kills, Pigeon Disable with four kills, Bahama Cat with three kills, Cat Cannon and Stone Cat with two kills, and Coffin Zoge, Gamatoto, Made Cat all with one kill. And here's who killed who. You can just go through that if you want to. I guess. I don't know. And that, my friends, was Hunger Games Catastrophe. A Battle Cats Hunger Games. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I actually didn't mind this one. The beginning was a little rocky, but I think it got better as we continued going forward. Also, I just want to mention for the rest of June, you might not see a whole lot of uploads because I got a whole lot of stuff. There's a whole lot of stuff on my plate right now, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot in general. Most of to do with my game, Pig Boy Strange Steeples 2. Play it if you want to, I, or don't. I don't really care. It's on Roblox. Play it if you want to. Like I said, I don't care if you do or you do not. Um, but I'm working on the game right now. Open for a new up, a new big update happening on the July 1st. So, yeah, I've been working on pretty much only that for, like, the entirety of June. Um, so, yeah, we haven't received many uploads. In fact, you might not receive another upload until the 29th, which is when another Hunger Games will be. So, yeah, but I promise you that... All of next, all of July, I'll be trying to focus on a balance of Hunger Games and, um, sorry, Hunger Games. I meant videos. I meant, you, I meant, yeah, making videos and, um, 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 and working on PBSS too, because I, it's, you know, because I, I got focus on both. I got to focus on both. Anyways, I also want to mention something about something special that I wanted to do with Catastrophe, because I thought it'd be very interesting. Um, the top six, the people who make it into the top six, um, will actually... People make it a top six will actually um, evolve. Uh, so that means the next time you see another Battle Cats Hunger Games, Hunger Games, you'll actually see them evolve. You'll see them in their second stage. And then if they make it to the top six again, then they'll be in their true form. And so, yeah, it's basically how it'll, um, how it'll work. And I, th I think that's a cool idea. I don't know. I think it's a cool idea. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'll, I'll stop wasting your time now so you can go do other stuff. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll just, I'll, I'll be going now. Um, see ya. Peace or whatever. Adios, amigos. Ha!